Thank you Adler Planetarium for letting us make this video and for the free tickets. This is the oldest planetarium in the Western Hemisphere, but its interior is a futuristic warp through the cosmos. Adler Planetarium is a space museum hosting a vibrant spectrum of astronomy-themed exhibits. It's home to historical artifacts, interactive displays, and stunning planetarium shows, but its history is just as fascinating. Max Adler was a businessman inspired to bring starry night skies to Chicago after visiting the Wonder of Gina Planetarium in Munich, Germany. Poetically, the first planetarium in the world sparked the first in the Americas. Adler acquired a batch of astronomical antiques and put up $86 million for construction. The planetarium opened in 1930 and drew in over a million visitors during Chicago's Century of Progress exposition. The original structure includes a copper dome on a granite base over 150 feet across, and a 1991 renovation added an encircling glass structure, giving a dazzling view of Lake Michigan. Adler's 12-sided design reflects the number of months in a year and the signs of the zodiac. This fact is a bit awkward considering that there are actually 13 astronomical constellations in the zodiac. But the designers made up for this by seemingly predicting a major astronomical event 75 years before it happened. A set of marble panels dedicated to Max Adler were built to represent the eight planets of the solar system. Pluto would be found just after construction, so the display was only accurate for three months. And then, the panels became correct again in 2006 when Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. As the saying goes, a broken clock is right twice a day. In 2008, John McCain criticized a $3 million earmark for an upgrade to Adler's Sky Theater, dismissively calling it an overhead projector. Many astronomers and science enthusiasts disagreed with this characterization, since Adler's 40-year-old Zeiss Mark VI projector had performed spectacularly for millions of visitors, painting a gorgeous, fully maneuverable night sky for a variety of educational shows. It had shocked and awed audiences for decades, but the machine was well-worn and could no longer even show a picture of Jupiter. Parts were so old that replacements weren't even sold anymore. To recapture the full depth of the cosmos, Adler created the most advanced planetarium system in the world, a constellation of 20 projectors controlled by 45 computers to seamlessly display breathtaking astronomical visuals. Adler has inspired countless students through its fantastic exhibits and plethora of outreach programs. The planetarium has raised hundreds of millions of dollars for science education and literacy, and hosts the Research Active Dunn Observatory equipped with a 24-inch mirror. There are fewer things more important than education, and Adler has taken up the quest to place the cosmos in the grasp of starry-eyed children. There's hardly a more noble pursuit one could imagine. And to cap it off, Adler didn't even end up receiving federal funding, but it still implemented the most advanced dome theater of its time, which continues to serve the American public and empower our nation's youth. Following a successful series of online events, new programs, and renovations during the COVID-19 pandemic, Adler reopened in March of 2022. For any Chicago residents or visitors with an interest in science, it's certainly a worthwhile visit, with a mountain of history and astronomical legacy behind it.